Okay, so like I've been hooked up for my sleep study, and this is just absolutely damn ridiculous. I feel like I can't breathe, like, oh wait, what am I supposed to say? I am Black Dragon, and welcome to my YouTube channel, Black Dragon Biker TV. And as always, I'd like to thank you all for tuning in from wherever it is in the world that you happen to be. So, uh, this is... <laughs> This is what they did to me so far. This is ridiculous. Is this ridiculous? Like, uh, what all do they want to know? I feel like I'm being examined or something. Wow. And it's cold as the Dickens in here. I mean, it is cold. It is freezing cold in here. Weird sound. What the hell? Uh, wired for sound. <laughs> uh, so this is a this is a sleep study here. Hurrah! Hurrah! RMC El Paso, get that CPAP. Breathe easy. Everybody keeps telling me that, man. I mean, everybody. <laughs> Yo, man, what you trying to do? Every time I look up, you're getting in and out of the hospital. Yeah, but I'm getting healthier. You got to come over here to get well. People come in here and die, and that's not the plan. Okay, I'm coming here to get back right. You better do John Rat. You better bury John Rat, or I'll come kill all your children and stepchildren and things. Ah. Uh. Evil. What's up, Evil? Damn, brother, got you hooked up like a six million dollar black dragon. <laughs> Oscar, we can rebuild him. We can make him stronger, faster, better than he was. Better than he was before. You guys don't know nothing about that. Y'all don't know nothing about that. Y'all ain't old enough to know about that. Uh, Lady Lucky 36. Oh, yeah, man, I'm doing good. This is just a, they're going to uh, make me sleep better, they say. That's all. Lee Majors. Uh-oh. Is Lee Majors dead? Did he finally, did he die? I know Farrah Fawcett died. I don't remember if Lee Majors died or not. Black Dragon Prayers. Oh, listen, guys, I'm just getting a, uh, this is a sleep study. Uh, it looks far worse than it is. It ain't nearly as bad as it looks. I promise you. So, uh, just wanted to ask, hey, what's up, Cossacks, One Percenters? It's good to see you. Uh, thank you for tuning into the feed. Honor and respect to you and your nation. Um, so, uh, questions for me. Any questions? You can call me at uh, 404 692 We can talk about whatever you want to talk about for the next uh, 20, 30 minutes. We can just uh, chat if y'all want uh, about whatever questions you may have about the Motorcycle Club world. Uh, I feel half asleep, to tell you the truth, Lady Ironhead. Uh, let's see. How do you plug this in? Oh, here we go. Six nine two. Uh, what is the number? Four four six nine two zero three three six. So, if you guys want to holler at me, you want to talk, we can do that. I am having a serious gout attack right now, and uh, one of them gout attack attack things be be a hurting. Um. So uh, we got a lot of stuff going on. Uh, in the news. Um that we could talk about. Um, if you have questions, hello from hot and humid Miami, Florida. I had a sleep study a few years back. It has helped me out a lot, said Iceman T. Bentley. So thank you, sir. Yeah, taking a sleep study, bro. You ain't getting no sleep with all of that SHIT on. <laughs> I've done it before. So good luck with it, bro. I'm glad you're okay trying to get better. 
Dark Shadow. Is this uh, Dark Shadow Thunder Guards? It's good to see you, bro. Uh, somebody said CPAP is going to change your life, Black Dragon. Uh, sleep study, man. Go to sleep. That looks way worse than a sleep study. Uh, <laughs> we got the jokers on here. Hey, what's up, Kyle? Wichita, Kansas? Okay, well, I have sleep apnea, too. No chapter in South Florida? Uh, is Pensacola, South Florida? We had a chapter in Jackson. Uh, Jacksonville. And uh, uh, so uh, uh, how far south do we need to be? Is Jacksonville south, or do you need something like down in Key West? We certainly ain't down there yet. Uh, that mask you have to wear sucks, but it'll keep you, it'll help you believe that. Okay. Well, I, if something's going to help me sleep, I, I want it. Hello from uh, Geneva, Alabama. Hope you actually can sleep tonight. Man, and with all this stuff, my like my chest feels all, uh, all tight and shit. Jim Bean will fix your sleeping. Uh, keep up the great work. Your channel is fantastic. Thank you, uh, Chris. Yep, we appreciate you for that. Um, so uh, I got my little wheelchair right here. Uh, I'm trying to get my ass into it so I can go get something to drink. Uh, no more than I didn't give it to. Oh, is that Ironhead is on here? What's up, Ironhead and Lady Ironhead? What? I get them both? What? Uh, that's all right. That's all right. I got Ironhead and Lady Ironhead on here. I'm walking in a tall cotton right now. So, uh, I just so would be happen to be having a gout attack right now. And whoever's got gout knows how badly that sucks. It is so bad. And, uh, I, they wouldn't give me any medicine for it. They said, uh, call us when you get an attack. Well, with a gout attack, you never know when they're going to come. And uh, I had to sit in the hospital for five hours a day. And I still wasn't able to get any because they were all backed up. I knew I had to sleep study tonight. So I just wound up not getting no gout medicine. So that's your... VA dollars at work. Um, so we got to rough it out until tomorrow sometime. Then that blows. Uh, definitely helped me out, says Merlin. Sleep study definitely helped Merlin out. So I can only imagine. Listen, everybody I've talked to has said that this helped them out. Everybody I talk to. Ah, you hate sitting down in the wheelchair and it goes rolling back a hundred yards when you sit down. Okay, so. We are alive and kicking. So what questions? You guys ain't asking me no questions. Uh, VA study was the best thing I ever did, somebody said. See, that's what I mean. Everybody's saying how great it was. Everybody's saying how great it was. You want to go for a ride or do you want to just, you want to walk yourself? Too bad you can't pull me. That would be cool. We're going to test your pulling strength. Can 18 pounds pull my big ass? We're going to see if Braveheart can be a sled dog right now. Oh, shit, I messed this up. Hold on. Come here, Braveheart. There's Braveheart right there, everybody. Say hello to everybody. So we're going to see if Braveheart can, can earn his uh, keep. Hello, brother from... Somebody said hello from uh, John O. Prodigals Redeemed. Good to see you, bro. 
over there in Houston, Texas. Houston, Texas. Uh, I got so many friends down in Texas, it's just really crazy. So uh, this week, okay, so so let me just tell you guys some of the stuff I'm doing. Um, you haven't seen me in a while. This week, uh, I've had several different videos, videos about, um, we, we get a couple of videos a day about um, uh, uh, what do you do if uh, you want to prospect for a club and they ha uh, you're having a hard time uh, getting them to, to accept you as a prospect. We talked about that in the video today. Um, we just had all kind of stuff going on. Let's see, man. Men snore to hear queens complain uh, in the morning. Yeah, because if you ask me, I would tell you I don't snore at all. Okay, how do I get there? To the. Okay, you're gonna make a left, and then it's the last door on the left. Make a left, last door on the left. Mm -hmm. Last door on the left. Yes. Don't go straight. There's a turn. Got it. So, uh, let's see. Bad love to all. Good night. Good night, evil. <sighs> Getting old is not for sissies, I tell you that. Let's see. A while ago, Marlon, he's escaping in a wheelchair. <laughs> they just don't, I, I need something to drink. They don't have any water or nothing like that. Last door on the left. Okay. That's here. You ever try to do a wheelchair with one hand? You ever try that? You gotta be good to do that. Ow, little dog. So this is the, uh, this is the VA clinic at night. Guess I'll put that there so I can get back in. So, I mean, this is not the same as riding a motorcycle, but uh, you guys get the good tour. Uh, I'll take care of Braveheart for you. Well, thank you. Good evening, Sean Clark. So you guys aren't asking me any questions. I've got 75 people watching me uh, roll through the hospital. And this is... <laughs> This is not going to be one of my most watched videos, I guarantee it. Um, what do you want to know? Yeah, we didn't focus on it for a few weeks because of the demonetization of the videos. Yeah, we've been gone. For, okay, so, yeah, let's talk about that. So, yeah, um, not only was Facebook demonet uh, YouTube demonetizing my videos, they were also throttling my channel back. And I'm not the only one. There's people all over the country complaining and crying about this. It's, uh, it's devastating, especially if you're doing this to make a, a living. Um, and then one day they just change the game, the rules of the game up. Uh, we no longer want these kind of videos or 
we're no longer going to monetize them. But it would be okay if they demonetize your videos, but they also demonetize your videos and cut your views. So a video that would normally be getting 100,000 views gets 200 views. And uh, that's because they don't, uh, they stop sharing it. They, the biggest way that uh, things get, where's the, uh, yes, sir. Thank you now. Uh, not only, uh, so not, uh, the, biggest th the biggest way view YouTube videos are seen is that YouTube recommends them. So if they're not going to monetize your video, why should they recommend it? Does that make sense? Like, we're not going to recommend this damn thing. It ain't making no money. So they stop recommending your videos because they demonetize them. And uh, you go from getting all these crazy cool views to nada. So, yeah, I've noticed I'm not seeing a lot of your videos. i got to go look for them. So if you're not looking for them or you forget about me, uh, thank you, C.D. Parker. Everything is going well. Uh, it's a damn Russian man, I'm telling you. <laughs> you missed my question, so I'm going to drop it again. Going to have lots of Vacation 22 and would love to come tag along on some rides with you, your club. Best way to hook up with you. Oh, yeah, come on. So uh, you can hook up with me through, um, uh, th through uh, my uh, email, blackdragon at blacksabbathmc.com, or you can call me at 404-692-0336. 404-692-0336. Oh, cherry coke. Now that would be fantastic. It's not a cola. It's something much, much more. Fun. Oh, that's not the right song. You guys don't know that song. Do you? Uh, let's see. Is that a grape? Is that really a grape? Wow. That looks like a Fanta grape. Oh, my God. Fanta strawberry. I've never heard of Amy Coke. Man, they just got everything for that's not good for you to choose from here. Ah, uh, must have a cherry Coke, but this Fanta Grape is pushing real hard, bro. Fanta Grape is pushing real hard. And it takes credit cards. Would you look at that? Would you look at that? Oh, you can hold your phone up to it. Look at this. You can hold your phone up to the Coke machine. Uh-huh. Man, we're on a whole new level here. You can hold your phone up. You can pull your phone out of your pocket, hold your phone up to the Coke machine, and it'll take your money. We, we read, when I was a kid, we were afraid that this was going to cause the end of the world. This, uh, this credits, not really money, but now we're in credit. You guys remember that? So uh, that's uh, what happened. So I decided to spread myself out, and all of us have, me, Hollywood, uh, all of us have that are doing these channels. So like Hollywood's got a, his own pay, pay channel, so two bucks a month, uh, and that's really been working well for him. Uh, and he's spread out to his uh, hardlyliberty.com, and he's got his... Um, He's got um, his paid site where he can just put anything he wants. Nobody can um, tell him what he's what he can and can't say. So he really likes that. Card approved. All right. So give me a B one. Oh, look at that. Did you look at that? Holy moly, and it just delivers it to you. 
Well, thank you. Would you look at that? And I want another one. I want a, I want a C6. C6. Look at that, look at that. Holy moly. Just, wow, that's so, that's so nice. Now, they used to just let it fall on the damn spot. Okay, now how do you tell it no more? Two items vended. Oh, hit the complete. Wow. I wonder how much this damn Coke machine cost. Poor bastard who had to buy it. Did you guys see that? And there's nothing in here that's worth a damn. we'll have to go with the little Debbie Zingers down there in the left corner or should we do the chocolate cupcakes this is not get skinny food uh, potato chips have too much salt yeah we're gonna have to go down with 60 60 I can't believe uh, uh, 92 people are actually watching this and you guys aren't asking any questions. Oh wait, you are asking questions. I'm not seeing them. Okay, bring back grape knee high. Oh yeah, hell yeah. Cherry Coke was with Jack is the best. My prayers are with you from A Bait of Oklahoma. Thank you, A Bait. Strawberry's awesome. Oh, you guys are with me. Hey, what happened? Why are you in the hospital? I'm I'm here for a sleep study. I'm here to uh, to get a sleep study asked earlier, but how do you feel about how motorcycle clubs are portrayed in TV shows? So, I love those TV shows. I'm glad you guys are asking me some motorcycle stuff. Uh, I, I love those TV shows. I really like Sons of Anarchy and stuff like that. It was really cool for a long time, but it's, it's, gotten, it's gotten old. And what's old about it is the same old stereotypes they're selling. So when I did my movie Biker Boys, it was a, a there there wasn't violence. Um, it was a wholesome show, and we were really proud of the effort uh, that we put in. And um, uh, we didn't have people getting shot and killed and all this kind of stuff. And um, what we have now is um, something completely uh, retarded in that everything that they show is hyper-violent, hyper-fictionalized. Uh, hyper um, there's no way you're going to kill a DEA agent every week and your motorcycle club not be shut the hell down and everybody put in prison. But when you, these kids are coming, when I say kids, these 20 year olds are coming to the motorcycle club looking for that kind of excitement. That does not exist. And, uh, uh, and they're acting that out. And we're seeing it, uh, we're seeing this kind of uh, stuff uh, it affects uh, how people see us. It affects how people view us. It affects uh, elections. It affects um, uh, laws that are being made. Um, and then when the news media comes in, because bikers and motorcycle clubs always make great uh, news channel money. And so when the news channel comes in, uh, with its sensational, sensationalism, uh, piggybacking off the TV shows, we got bad juju. So I just printed a story from Hollywood. I was just talking about that earlier. And in that story, uh, Hollywood did a kind of spoof. And his spoof was on... Um, the uh, federal government deciding to go after all motorcycle clubs. 
And uh, the way he did it, it was like a brand new story. And I'll be darned if that thing didn't get hundreds of thousands of views. I could use some help. <laughs> uh, I'm trying to get back up to the third, uh, first floor. I mean the second floor. But you don't have to uh, take your... Bike. No. Nope. Thank you, ma'am. It's, it's beautiful. So, um, come on here. Come on, doggy. So, um, when you when you look at all this hyper vigilant, hyper stuff that they're showing, it's really starting to hurt us badly. It's starting to hurt what we are. Uh, what we stand for. So, whereas I used to think they were cool, I'm going to the sleep clinic now. Okay. Come on, dog. Whereas I used to think it was cool, I no longer think it's cool. Uh, I think that we got to have some stuff, uh, some some pro. You know, in Sons of Anarchy, did they ever, in seven years, go for a motorcycle ride? I don't think so. Did they ever in seven years go have some fun? I don't think so. You got, you got a room? Yes, ma'am. Okay, uh, did you ever see them go on a run? Did they ever do anything that bikers do except run drugs, murder people, and all this silliness? And the answer would have to be, I don't remember that. I don't remember them going on a on a run, they never went to an annual. They never, they never did any of that stuff. So, what good uh, is uh, it, it? It becomes just Hollywood living off of um, living off of uh, what would be our reputations. Um, thank you, man. You got it from here. I gotta go down that way. You got it. Yes, ma'am. I have it from here. Stuff, yes, ma'am. Thank you so much. God bless you, ma'am. Man, that was so beautiful of her to bring me up here. I was just beautiful. Come on here, dog. So, uh, to answer that question, I absolutely hate those movies. I think they absolutely suck. What other questions you guys have for me? Sleep study is easy, no pop. Well, that's right. They don't want you to have any caffeine. Too late. <laughs> no sugar. Don't do it. Hey, what happened? Why are you in a hospital? Oh, I'm just uh, here for a sleep study. The fact of strawberry is awesome. Uh, cherry Coke. Okay, I won't drink the Coke. I'll drink the grape. There's no caffeine in that. Dang, brother, kind of freaked me out when I saw all that wire. I'm, I'm sorry about that, uh, C.D. Parker. Leprechaun. If you uh, will by the front door and yell... You can't catch me. <laughs> it will get exciting. On the real though, praying for your study comes out good. I appreciate that. Let's see. Is this my room? Oh, that's not my room. Shit. Poor fellow. He looked like his ass was asleep too. I don't know where my room is. Damn. I don't know where my room is. Is this my room? No, that ain't my room. I don't know where my room is. 
his Braveheart, love his pet palace. Uh, he absolutely loves his pet palace. He's already torn it up. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Yeah, he absolutely loves his pet palace. Oh, man, why didn't that go backwards in the first place? This is far easier. Oh, shoot. Especially with this uh, rearview mirror I got here. Oops. Did they really put a chair right there? Will you move? Stop it. Okay, where's my room? Oh, really? Thank you. How did I do that? Huh. That's uh, interesting. I don't, yeah, I think, yeah, got it, got it, all right, thank you. All right, I'm in here, I'm in here now, okay, uh, I know I missed some questions. Somebody sent me a prayer. Thank you. <laughs> Was it worth it? This, my friends, is a Fanta grape. There are no others like it. This one is mine. Praise Father God in heaven. Ah, oh, that was beautiful. That whole ride was worth it. Hello from California. I'm stealing some one's question. How do you feel about how MCs are being betrayed on TV shows? I think I answered that. What are you having done, Mr. Bunch? I am having a sleep study. Biker Boys 2. What about it? Uh, be careful with those machines. That accept cards. <laughs> uh, cut the white sugar. That will put you in the hospital too. God bless you. I pray. Thank you. Mines isn't nowhere near as good as SOA. No, it's not. For the subscriber who wants to ride with Black Dragon, you can email them. Black Dragon at BlackSabbathMC.com or Four four six nine two zero three three six. We need more MC movies with less violence. I, I don't know. I don't know if that's going to sell because people don't want to see that. You really got to give people what they want to see. And if they have been conditioned that if it's a motorcycle movie, uh, even the greatest motorcycle movie of all times about two guys just putting across the, the, uh, the world... Uh, easy Rider, end up with both of those guys getting killed. So they had violence they had to deal with the whole way over. Damn it, Black Dragon, I thought you were hurt. Grr. No! No, I'm... I'm okay. Um, no, I didn't get shot or nothing. Black Dragon, I just uh, joined. I hope all is well. No, guys, I'm. I'm. This is a sleep study. Y'all can't tell. 
Y'all never had a sleep study? Um, this is my first one too. I did two sleep studies in the past. They put so many wires on me, I should have gotten <laughs> on the internet in my sleep. No kidding. Uh, I'm fine, folks. Okay, so I shouldn't have done this video, obviously. I wonder why I had so many people watching. Oh my gosh. That's good stuff. That's good stuff. If you have sleep apnea, that CPAP machine will change your life. Somebody said, I will pray for you, Black Dragon. Thank you so much. I'm amazed, Black Dragon, that you can have Braveheart in the hospital. Well, why, 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 why wouldn't you? He's a family. My band used to rehearse at the Black Sabbath MC Clubhouse. Uh... Yeah, it sure did. I think I remember that band. Back in the early 90s, was it? You guys used to come to the clubhouse and play? I, I think I remember that band. I don't think there's been too many bands. I remember that band. Uh, you guys were pretty damn good, too. Um, that was during my prospecting days. I remember that band that used to come play at us, Tim. Valentine, that's really cool. Good thing you're bald. You would have bald spots on the probes. Uh, I bet you. All right, Blood Dragon, I'm out. All right, DBD Nation. Somebody said, yeah, they always sensationalize the bad and everything just like in the um, shooting circles. The media focuses on the bad because that makes money. Wheelchair needs some pipes. <laughs> what do you think about the new Indian lineup? I haven't seen the damn motorcycle yet, have you? I haven't seen it. I've seen a bunch of shadowy ass pictures. And I think you can play that out too far. Like, you're going to piss me off. I'm going to go buy something else. Let us see the damn motorcycle already. Uh, they shot a advertisement with the damn bike in the background. Like, who's got time to play all these games? Show us the freaking motorcycle, for Christ's sake. Uh, so I don't know what to think of Indians lined up yet. Uh, can't wait to see the bike. Chug, 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 chug. Am I smacking? I'm sorry. <laughs> Take care, Black Dragon. See you. See you, Black Dragon, Virginia, West Virginia. Um, let's see. Yo, you haven't forgot about your homeboy in West Virginia. Uh, no, I haven't forgotten about you at all, bro. Not at all. Even wild hogs had violence in it. It damn sure did, didn't it? Yeah, though, that's not even some guys that could ride across country. Them old guys that weren't messing with nobody, They even they had violence. Got the perfect a movie, Black Dragon. Tia and I, Lady on Head on a trampoline. Yeah. And some jello. Fighting. <laughs> ah, that's a good movie. <laughs> Wrestling. <laughs> Just went through the same study at Boise, Virginia, uh, uh, Boise VA. 
Boise, Idaho, VA. Uh, wait till you <coughs> try to get that crap out of your hair. Oh, see, they never told me any of that. Uh, DJ Tubrazi with the Grim Bastards with Goldie and my cousin played in that crew. You guys talking about something else? You're in the hospital. I'm cleaning in the kitchen. We're all doing big stuff. I take my service dog everywhere, says Stephen G. When I'm not riding, I take mine on the, I take mine on the bike riding. And there his butt is over there in the bed, right there. Hey, Braveheart, stop chewing. <sighs> Let's see. It's great to be with you, Black Dragon. Even though you're all wired up, <laughs> this is really crazy. Uh, you guys give me some likes on this video too while you're at it. There's uh, only 28 likes on here. Give me some likes. If you were buying a new bike today, what would it be? I, I would probably... Okay, so if I had all the money I wanted in the world, I would go buy a Kawasaki Concourse. Because I just went up in the mountains with it, with my brother, and that was bitchin'. That thing kills. Then I would also buy a Hayabusa, because uh, I haven't had one of those in about 12 years, and I, it's just like my favorite bike of all time. And I would buy a uh, Honda Goldwing, uh, the newest one, because it is <laughs> unparalleled. <laughs> in performance and it's just a bad boy all together and I would buy a um, a CVO uh, one of those CVO uh, road glides um, with like the 123 stock engine 123 now and I would buy a um, an Indian Probably the new bagger they got coming, the Indian Challenger. And I would, of course, buy the Indian full bagger, top of the line, um, Chief, Chieftain, whatever it's called. So those would be the motorcycles I would have. And I would probably buy some kind of an enduro uh, dirt bike and probably a BMW enduro um, so that I could you know, have all of my motorcycling needs met. And I would absolutely have to have a snowmobile and a wave runner. And I think that would about do it. Yeah, that, that would be what I would buy. What about you? Uh, but if I had to just buy one bike, <laughs> probably the Indian Challenger right now. Uh, you have me scared. For I'm sorry, Black Dragon. You're a good man. I would hate to see something happening to you. Hey, man. Get off my pillow and stuff. What are you doing? This is my, my bed. This is my bed. Okay? You didn't pay for anything. You haven't bought anything. You haven't paid for anything. Stop stretching all out in my bed and stuff. Okay? And get off my pillows. Get your tail off my pillow. Get your tail off my pillow. Get it off. Hurry up. Hey, I, get your tail off my pillow. Get your tail off. Get your... I'm going to beat you. Get your tail... You know what? Ah, it's not even worth it. What's your favorite bike you've ever had? Um, I, <laughs> I, I think I'd have to go back to my very first bike, a Honda Trail ATC, a Honda Trail 50, and then I had the three-wheeler, the ATC 50 three-wheeler. That was when they still let kids have three-wheelers. It was the absolute bomb. Just that the 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 
And when I was 14, my mother brought me a Yamaha 125 Enduro because uh, you could get your license to ride a motorcycle at 14 in Oklahoma. You had to be in by 9.30 at night, which we never did. Um, so I had my own wheels at 14. You get your license at 12 on the farm. So I've been driving since I was just a young, young lad. Uh, but I got my first motorcycle, that street bike, uh, the Yamaha Enduro 125. Oh, that was such a fun motorcycle. And then my first super street bike was the Honda Interceptor 550. Ooh, woo, woo. it was bad to the bone. Then I got a, uh, uh, what was it, a VMAX? Was that a 1300? It, it was just a straight line bike. You couldn't take any corners on it. It wasn't a VMAX. It was a, what was that damn thing called? Oh, my goodness. I can't remember what it was called. Then I got a, uh, 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 FJ 1100. Then I got, uh, and that was the Yamaha Sport Tour. And then I got the um, GS, GS 1150ES. You should stand up on that sucker and surf it like it was a surfboat, a surfboard. And then I got the um, a, a CX 500 uh, Silver Wing, which I used as my transport, my travel bike to work and stuff. And then I got the KZ-1000R. Then I got the uh, GX-1100, GSX-R, Gixxer 1100. And then I got a Honda Goldwing. And, uh, and then that was, um, that was it until the Hayabusa. And uh, the father of the Black Sabbath gave me for a while his ZX-11, was it? I think it was a ZX-11. And then uh, Kawasaki gave me for the DreamWorks movie a ZX-1200, which was amazing. I got to race Ricky Gatson on the highway. Uh, we were doing, we were rolling at about 90. I looked over at Ricky and I just... I gunned it. I was going to whoop Ricky's ass. Well, Ricky had some kind of special ZX-12. <laughs> uh, and he went past me. We were going like uh, on highway, on I-5 or something like that. Um, you guys know Ricky Gatson, the famous street racer. Uh, not street racer, but famous Kawasaki racer. Um Ricky floated past me, and we were going in between the cars because you can white line in California. Ricky went past me, and it was, that was it. I just saw a horizon <laughs> till he decided to slow down. I'd never seen anybody ride that fast in my whole life, and I was doing 165, 170, easy. And that guy just caught a horizon just like that. Like That's when I realized that oh, I'm not as good a rider as I thought. Uh, the that little time I met you, I learned a lot about the MC world. Thank you, Black Dragon. Looks like they're still uh, copying Harley Davidson's homework. They are copying, but uh, what do they say? Uh, imitation is the best form of flattery. Is it has a liquid cooling system with Harley, which is what Harley should think about. Listen, every top performing motorcycle in the country has a liquid cooling system. Uh, Goldwing has had it now for 25, 30, 30, 35 years. So uh, what I like about the liquid cooling system is you can put your bike on the kickstand, leave it on all night long, and sleep underneath it in the winter. And you can't do that with a V-twin. Hey, Black, uh, that's not liquid cool. Hey, Black Dragon, have you ever played the drums for a band? No, I uh, am a, a pianist. And I played the piano for a band. The drums is something I picked up when I was in the Navy and stuff, and I didn't have the money to have a piano. 
then I, I picked up the drums because you could have little pieces of that around. It's easier. And I used to play the drums in church uh, for a church choir, which is not the same thing as a band. So uh, that's my uh, affiliation with drums. Uh, but drums is a, uh, you know, the piano is a percussion instrument to some. To some, it's a string instrument. To me, it's a percussion instrument. And uh, so I'm good with percussion. Uh, I'm good with drums. And I'm, I mean, I suck with drums, but I, I can keep a beat. Um, uh, somebody says, Iceman, I love probably the New Indian Challenger uh, fixed fairing. Yes. Uh, I am okay, Katie Ray. I'm way behind you guys. You on a morphine trip? No. <laughs> uh, dog needs a kilt. Uh, my dog is 130 pounds. Holy moly, my dog is 18 pounds. Just got my goggles for my grand dog, Duke, so he can ride. You got the doggles? Uh, Goldwing has always been a good bike. You should see the electric Harley Davidson. No, I don't want to see that. Um, thanks for responding back. Oh, man, heck yeah. Oh, he's gone. Good night. Good night, uh, Black Dragon. Uh, Drago, you're going to have missing patches in your beard. I, <laughs> I don't want to even think about it. Uh, what do you think about... Uh, Train horns on motorcycles. I think train horns on motorcycles are absolutely necessary, and I'm getting ready to buy some for my own motorcycle. Does that make sense? Getting ready to buy a train horn. I, I think anything that makes your uh, motorcycles sound loud and a train horn will do it. It'll keep somebody from killing you. Leave the dog alone. He's relaxing. Good night, uh, Ironhead. My English Bulldog is laying in my lap right now. Gotta love our pets. Absolutely. Uh, when did you realize you wanted to join a motorcycle club? Um, ah, so, ah, uh, so I, um, you know, the whole story about how I got into the Black Sabbath is really kind of interesting. But I will keep it real short to say this. I got in trouble in the Navy, and the guy they sent me to, back then in the Navy, you know, you could get beat up. You could get beaten up. Uh, a senior chief would take your ass back into the boiler room and tighten your ass up. Uh, and those days, I guess, are gone. But I managed to run into a senior chief that was tightening me up. I, I, uh, <laughs> it was during the whole uh, Black Power thing. And I had basically told a white senior chief to kiss my ass. So he called the black senior chief who said, <laughs> send him over to me. <laughs> and it was really nice because they could have just taken my career and dumped it down the drain. But instead, they decided to uh, get me some act right. So um, they, uh, the black senior chief got me off in his office and, you know, uh, you know, brutalized me. <laughs> A little bit until I got to the point I was like oh yeah okay hey what, what do you guys need me to do <laughs> so later on that afternoon I saw him um, coming out to get on his motorcycle and I asked him what the hell do you know about motorcycles old man and he said what the hell do you think you know about motorcycles and I said I'm a rider and he goes oh yeah and he wrote down an address for me and said meet me over here this afternoon at 6 p.m. or something, and I did not know that the senior chief was a president of the Black Sabbath Motorcycle Club, San Diego chapter. His name was Magic, and uh, when I went to that club and I saw the power that those guys had in that neighborhood and how they were respected and how mean and tough and strong they were, uh, I had to. I had to come in. I, I wasn't raised with any brothers. I wasn't going to find my real brothers. I have some real blood brothers. I wasn't going to find them for another almost 30 years. So I didn't find my brothers till I was about 50. So I didn't have any real brothers, and I wasn't going to see my brothers for another 30 years. So these were the first and only brothers that I had for the next 30 years until. My yeah. Are you ready to start your study? Uh, 
Give me five minutes, I'll be ready. Okay. Thank you. Uh, okay. Had the Z350. Okay, so let me catch up real quick with you guys. My first bike was a Honda CL350. Nice. Um, that's crazy. No way 14 year olds could handle a motorcycle license. Oh, uh, yeah, they do it in Oklahoma every single day, bro. That hasn't gone away. <laughs> but you only get a 125. You don't get anything bigger than that. Uh, Honda Trail 70 at 10 years old. Awesome scooter. Yes, sir. Uh, Running Cool is a great movie. What's up, Black Dragon? Hope you're doing well. Let me see. Uh, I missed the trumpet and Benelli 750. Nice bike. I play guitar at church. Both by 94 Max and uh, 03 Magna are liquid cool. The Milwaukee 8s are air oil cooled. I agree, 100% ASD should be doing liquid cooling. Uh, they're going to have to if they want to stay in the game. Oh, no, they're going into the electric bike, so we'll see how that works for them. Harmershaw, what's up, man? Uh, lost your feed, Dragon. Hope everything goes well for you. Thank you so much. So, uh... I think I'm pretty much caught up with you guys. You still get that act right in the infantry. Ah, Black Dragon. Best of luck. Thanks. So it looks like they're getting ready to start my sleep study. So I'm going to get in the bed now and go to sleep. Man, to have so many of you guys on for so long, for an hour, I absolutely appreciate you all. Thank you so much for tuning in uh, and hanging out with me while I got ready for my sleep study. Thank you. Thank you for being the kind of uh, uh, family that I have. I got a new uh, kind of line of work I'm doing with you guys. It's uh, the Black Dragon Consulting Firm. So you guys check that out. That's on my Facebook channel, Black Dragon Biker TV on Facebook. So we've got Black Dragon Biker TV on Facebook, Black Dragon Biker TV on YouTube, Black Dragon Biker TV on Instagram TV, The Dragon's Lair, Motorcycle Chaos, is our podcast, and HarleyLiberty.com is our online magazine. We are looking for, uh, we're in search of um, folks who want to write for the magazine. If you want to write for our magazine, hit me up at BlackDragon at BlackSabbathMC.com or uh, hit me up on Facebook Instant Messenger over there on BlackDragon at BlackSabbathMC.com or, or over there on Black Dragon Biker TV on Facebook. <sighs> I think those are it. We got gear. BlackDragonsGear.com, and please check out down below. We also have gear there from uh, uh, Teespring. So we've got the brand new uh, We shirts that are out. It's not about I, it's, it's about We, and we got some kind of cool shirts over there. So please help support my channel by buying our gear. I sent you a text. You did? <clears throat> How long ago did you send me a text? Like just now? Um. Good luck with your sleep test. Is that you? Yeah. Hammer. Hammersh. Two. I always say Hammershaw, and I know that's not right. Uh, but I appreciate you, buddy. Uh, I see your real name on here, but I'm not going to call you that. Your real name on online. Thank you for the text message, man. Uh, so. <sighs> I guess this time, they said they're going to wake me up at 530 in the morning. Who does that? But anyway, <laughs> got me some nice uh, juice, and I'm going to go to bed. God damn, that grape is like, uh, woo, it's like a crack cocaine. Okay, your football is like a, <laughs> your five minutes is like a football five minutes. Are you trying to tell me it's been five minutes already? <laughs> a football five minutes can be an hour. You guys take care. Thanks for tuning in and get skinny.